Hey guys, this is Danny Boy. I should really be asleep right now. I really have to be rested for tomorrow. I am giving a lecture to a class about Afghanistan and Syria, but I just cannot sleep. I was actually PM'd by a poster asking me what my ETA was on Thessia. He was having some trouble. So as soon as I was going to go to bed, as soon as I saw that, I'm like, okay, well, I guess I should probably get Thessia out. I only knocked out like one video today. Had to do a lot of stuff today. It was really busy. But needs help, so I'll give it to him. Well, I then go and do Thessia, and as it turns out, immediately afterward, he PMs me again saying, oh, he's got it. Which, you know what, is totally fine. Awesome. I am so happy that he was able to do it on his own. That brings me great joy. But now I can't sleep, so what should I do? I guess I'll just edit some videos. That's all I want to do right now. I just want to edit videos. So we are on Thessia. This is Liara. I'm going to exploit the crap out of stasis for this mission. Stasis is so ridiculous. It is so overpowered. I rarely use Liara because of that. In fact, I only use her generally when I have to use her on missions. I love stasis, it's great, but it's incredibly cheap and cheesy, and I'd rather not use it in every mission, making everything super fantastically easy. So anyway, here we go. This is Thessia, it is in ruins. No time to worry about that. It is not happy times. Just wanted to check it out for a second. Skybox. The distant buildings and everything, the cityscape looks absolutely superb. But in a moment, we will be going through a turret sequence, a very easy turret sequence. But I figured, why not show it? Why not mix it up? As you can see, brutes are quite easy to kill when given a freaking turret, so... The only thing I can really tell you about turret fights is just make sure you reload frequently. Whenever you're given a spare moment, reload. Why not? Better to do it in a spare moment than to do it during combat, during an actual attack. This will go on for about maybe 10-20 more seconds. I'm not sure if it's actually possible to lose this. Considering how easy it is on Insanity, I can't imagine it being possible to lose on any other difficulty. In fact, the husks and brutes probably just throw candy at you as they approach on lower difficulties. Candy and hugs. So I am just making sure incendiary ammo is up. Again, this is my first playthrough. I don't know what to expect, so best to be prepared. I have, over time, gotten better about making sure I'm using my party members, making sure to actually keep things up. For the longest time, I didn't actually remember to use incendiary ammo, because I assumed that James would automatically cast it. They did that in the previous game. I imagine they do not anymore, because also in the previous game, they would override your ammo powers, which could be a pain at times. So you had to make sure to cast your ammo after they cast theirs, so they would not override it. I apologize if I'm a little quiet, but it is quite late at night. I'd rather not wake up my household, if at all possible. I am using the Geth Pulse Rifle yet again. I am using the Arc Pistol yet again. Something I should mention, I talked about how I did not care that my loadout was so heavy in the previous episode. I did not realize that I had accidentally equipped the katana in my previous episode. I assumed that the Geth Pulse Rifle and the Arc Pistol were just really freaking heavy. Not the case. Definitely handicapped myself for no good reason in the previous episode, but whatever, who cares? Little artificial difficulty never hurt anybody. As you can see, having no trouble in this, given ample kill zones, given ample cover, not a problem. But things do ramp up a bit, coming up, to an extent. I believe I die all of twice on this mission. One was a fluke, the other was just, I don't know, you'll see. Stupidity? <laughs> Who knows? Those are harvesters, they shoot troops out of their bums, and they shoot you with rockets. I can't confirm that they shoot troops out of their bums, but I don't see any other orifices, so I assume they have to come from somewhere. Yes, I am having no trouble at all, to the point that I'm not even bothering taking cover. 
These guys have shields, I have energy drain. Worst comes to worst, I can just drain their shields back, as you just saw. And stasis bubble. Lovely. It, I absolutely love stasis. It's a tremendously cool ability. If I ever get around to playing an adept playthrough, which I will, I will be using stasis instead of singularity. I like it that much. These are again just cannibals. They slowly charge you, they feed off of other enemies. When they feed, it heals them, it gives them some weird health bar armor. It makes them move faster, it makes them take cover more frequently. Pew, 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 pew. Again, Rocket Drone plus Rocket Turret actually does do fairly significant damage. It is a pretty darn good combo, I have to say. It certainly has served me well, especially considering I spend so much time shooting and forgetting to use powers at times. Though I think I've also gotten better about that. I think it depends on the day. In the next episode, I will be coming across a new weapon, a weapon that I think a lot of you guys will enjoy, that perhaps have been looking forward to. And I will immediately thereafter be making some videos using that weapon in target practice. Well, one video using it in target practice. To see if it's as awesome as it used to be. Yeah, I don't know what to expect here. I'm just slowly advancing. They seem to be shooting meteors at me, and I'm not a big fan of being hit by meteors, so... Trying to avoid that, if at all possible. Haven't really come up with any real threats at this point. All in all, Thessia was not a difficult planet. It was actually pretty easy. For the most part. I've definitely faced way more difficult Reapers before. I doubt I'll be using the Geth Pulse Rifle again, so I hope you enjoy this video. Unless I'm explicitly asked to use it. Again, if you guys have any particular loadout that you would like to see, or a favorite weapon, I will use it. But... The Geth Pulse, Pulse Rifle is essentially just an Avenger. Just a really, really good Avenger. Maybe its projectiles are slightly slower, I really don't know. I've used the Avenger for all of maybe a minute in this entire series, immediately stopped using it because it's an Avenger. Also, shout out to commenter Replay the Music. He complained that he had not yet gotten his pre-order weapons on one of my videos. And yes, neither have I. That is an excellent point. The Argus and the Raider shotgun, the Argus being an assault rifle, are supposed to be given to any player who pre-ordered the game from any retailer. I pre-ordered from Origin. I believe there has been some difficulties. Apparently, you are emailed the pre-order codes, which seems to be an incredibly ridiculous system. Steam doesn't do that. Steam just, when the game unlocks, they give you the pre-order codes using the service. Why they choose to email the pre-order codes is absolutely beyond me. But yes, they are, they've been very slow to email them. I actually just sent them an email asking when I'm going to get them, why I haven't gotten them. So I suggest if you haven't gotten yours by this point, you should email them, because a lot of people... It was a problem, but by now, it's been, what, a week since the game came out? People are starting to get them, so if you have not yet gotten your pre-order weapons, email EA and ask why. Remind them that you exist, and you want your shit. I certainly want mine. Also, a shout-out to commenter Inu Bilal, apologies if I'm pronouncing that incorrectly, Inu Bilal, asking me if I skipped Grissom Academy because it was hard. To which I replied, no. I didn't do Grissom Academy because it was destroyed before I got the chance to do it. Apparently, if you do too many plot missions, Grissom Academy gets destroyed by the Reapers. So, something to keep in mind, don't go too far ahead in the plot, or else you might miss out on some other missions. Since then, I've made it a point to knock out the secondary missions before going for the plot missions. That was one of the reasons why I did so much Cerberus stuff before going back to the Reapers. But yeah, that would normally really frustrate me and really annoy me, but I know I'm going to be playing through this game at least twice. I may be going through it six times, depending on if there's actually demand for that. I don't know. I might go through it once with every class on Insanity. I don't know. Only time will tell. That will be a tremendous amount of footage and effort, but I could probably do it. Take about a month, but I could probably do it. We shall see. But anyway, I am killing a Banshee. Banshees are not hard to kill when there's one of them and they don't have support. 
you just pew pew them. Preferably going for headshots, but their heads are small and I generally don't care. It's not an issue. I know he's gonna die. So I'm just charging up shots with the arc pistol. I'm gonna start going for the head with that. Kinda hard to see right now though. The only thing to worry about are their warp bombs, but they're easy to avoid. Just keep a column or cover in the way when you're facing them. So, that's that. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more Thessia. Have a good one.